Hi, my name is Steven with On Demand Tracking. Today we're going to do Calamp LMU 200 install. So today we're going to be working on a 2003 Chevy Monte Carlo. And so we're going to open up our box. We have our starter disable relay, of our limited warranty. We have our box and harness. We have our Air ID stickers. It also comes with a zip tie and two 3M sticky strips. On the box, you'll see installation instructions that briefly tell you each color wire and what that color wire attaches to. Now that we have our box in hand, what we're gonna wanna do is look at a wire diagram to find out where our wires are. We're gonna wanna find out where a constant source of power is, 12 volts of, of current, we're going to want to know where our starter wire is. We're going to want to know where our ignition wire is. And then we're going to also ground our device. On this specific vehicle, we happen to notice that all the wires we're going to need are at the ignition switch. So we're going to end up taking some panels off of the vehicle in order to easily access the wires of this vehicle. But before we do that, we're going to wire up our harness so we can get a nice, clean factory install when we're finished. So we have our unused wires secured. I'm gonna show you that the red wire is gonna be your constant. The black wire is gonna be your ground. Your green wire is gonna be your starter relay wire. And then your white one is gonna be your ignition wire. So then what we're going to do is take our wire strippers and strip back some of the insulation so that way we can tap and wind our wire around the connection source. So now we're going to take the green wire from our GPS unit and attach it to our starter relay. Take our dikes here and we'll crimp down this butt connector so that way the wire is nice and snug and now you have a secure connection. So now we've attached butt connectors to our starter relay wires. Red one attaches to the starter side of the starter wire and the blue one attaches to the ignition or key side of the starter wire. Now that we have our harness prep, we've got our ground wire, our constant power, our ignition wire, then our starter side starter wire and our key side starter wire for our relay. We're going to go ahead and start taking apart the dash so that way we can begin our install. And now we're going to remove our information cluster to see if we can find a good mounting location for our GPS box. So now that we've taken the panels off, for this vehicle, we know that constant is the red wire. We know that the pink wire is our ignition wire and that the yellow wire is our starter wire. All these wires are located right back behind the ignition or where you set the key in. So now we're going to test our constant wire to be sure that it is true constant. So now that we've tested our constant wire, we're going to hold 12 volts when the vehicle is off, when the vehicle is in the on position, during crank, and when it's running. Now we're going to test the ignition wire to make sure that it is true ignition. So we have the vehicle off, there isn't any power. Turn the vehicle on, we get about 12 volts. And running. It should always remain right around 12 volts. So now that we have our starter wire tag, it's only going to show 12 volts when you're actually starting the vehicle. So now the vehicle is off, have it into the on position. Now I'm going to start it. Now I shut the vehicle off. Now that we've tested all of our wires, we're going to strip and tie into our constant and ignition wires. We're also going to cut and strip both ends of the starter wire in order to connect our GPS and our starter relay. As you can see, we have our wires tapped and secured. 
We'll finally finish up with cleaning it up. But if you can see, we have the box located just above where the information cluster is. We're gonna set it back behind here, taking off our uh, protective sealant for the 3M sticky strips. And we're just gonna nestle it right back here in a level position. Now that we've cleaned up our, our harness and our wires to make it look nice and neat, and it's not near any moving parts, so we have a safe install. We're gonna put the car back together and uh, move on. Now that we have the vehicle put back together, what we're gonna to wanna to do is activate our GPS device on the Lender Outlook platform. There is a video on On Demand Tracking's website and you can navigate in the support and software section to find that video on how to activate your new GPS that you've just installed. Keep in mind, make sure you take for your records the numbers and the scan codes for the stickers that came in with the box. Um, you're also gonna wanna keep for your records a picture of the actual device and what vehicle it is attached on. Many installers will install several vehicles, but if they forget one piece of, of the paperwork, they're, uh, they're in for a troubling time with regard to finding out which device is attached to what vehicle. So keep in mind for your records. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at odtracking.com. We look forward to hearing from you.